All right, so first, let's go on to choosing a host. How do you choose a host? First of all, let's talk about what the hell a host is, what a domain is, all that stuff, basic terminology. So domain name, the basic address of your website. So www.blank.com, yourname.com. Um, you can have different kinds of domain names such as uh, .com, .net, .org. There's those not com names which are getting kind of popular, which is like like um, Applebee's.restaurant or like Sean has Seanmore.photography. So those are getting more popular and um, you can you can check out there's like th I think there's over 300 now of like domain extensions. I'm not totally sold on them yet, but I think they probably will start to take off down the road. It'll be like the new dot com. That's a whole other topic. Okay, web host. So domain, the domain name is by itself. The web host is who's hosting your content. Um, so you can think about it as like the, the web host is like the landlord who also owns the office space that your business is renting out. Um, your business itself is the domain name, right? The name of your business is the domain name, but you need a place to work out of and a place to host your business and host your content. That's the web host. Um, What's next? And then the content management system. How do you manage all of your content that the web host is hosting for you with your domain name? Uh, there's a bunch of things out there and we're going to talk about a few of the most popular ones and which one I prefer. All right. So web hosts slash they call them registrars as well. There's hundreds of these HostGator, GoDaddy, Bluehost. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, you've probably seen a couple of these before when you're looking for a domain name and you're like, how do I pick which one to use, uh, there's no easy way to pick. You're going to decide based on the price, the ease of use, uh, security, customer service is a big one, load speed, not a big one. I mean, my technical friends will say, well, technically it is a big thing. But I mean, it's 2017, almost 2018. The shit's lightning faster now. Um, and reliability. You need to make sure that your, your website isn't hosted by somebody really janky in it, like, you know, falls apart and then people try to go to your website to buy something and they can't even reach it because the host is screwing up. Uh, so, I mean, you'll see, I used to, I used to host on GoDaddy because it's the most popular and it seemed like the cheapest option. It was like two night, it said two ninety nine, but then I realized like it's only two ninety nine for the first year. If you buy five years up front or three years up front. And then every year after that is like $15 or so you end up spending at least like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, you get it for a couple of years, but that doesn't include domain privacy, which is a huge thing. Um, domain privacy is eight, $8 a year on GoDaddy. Um, if you don't have it, basically anyone in the world can see all of your information, your name, your email address, your address, your phone number, because you have to register that when you buy a domain name, like legally. And if you don't buy domain privacy, people can see that. So if you are hosting on GoDaddy and you don't have domain privacy or any of these and you don't have domain privacy, buy it right now. Because I'll tell you right now, I get so many like spam calls and like uh, spam emails from people that can see my information on the internet because I didn't uh, buy domain privacy a long time ago. So I'll stop talking about that. Content management systems. Okay, so we have a bunch of these. We have the first, that I need to mention is WordPress, right? You probably heard of WordPress before. It's a content management system that you link to your domain name and link to your host. So you're hosting your content on GoDaddy, but you're using WordPress, which is free, to update content, right? Um, Albert asked, with Squarespace, can you buy domain privacy? Actually, it's included in all Squarespace's domain names already. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a second too. Thanks for asking. Um, so WordPress, why is it so huge? Well, it powers a quarter of the internet. That's pretty amazing. Um, it's so popular. It's been around for a long time. It has hundreds of hundreds of plugins. Um, like if you want to, you, you name it, like there's, it's open source. So like people are coding things on their own and then uploading it to WordPress, which is another factor is like, there's some sketchy stuff out there. There's some you know, janky stuff out there. There's some really professional stuff out there, but you're going to have to pay for it. It's not free. Um, 
So it looks nice up front because it looks like it's free, but you have to buy, you know, like premium, uh, premium templates to get a really nice looking template. You have to buy it. It's like 60, 70 bucks usually for a decent one. Um, plugins, you know, the, the good ones again are not free. The ones that are free have spam on them. They're buggy. Some are cool, but I'll move on. I think it's super difficult to learn. I think like, the user interface, the UI is really cluttered. There's like, it's it's really hard to manage any of your content on there if you don't know what you're doing. Probably heard of Weebly and Wix. Okay, so these are drag and drop, really user friendly. It's super easy to get a site um, started on there. It's free as well as WordPress. It's the same kind of situation where you have to host your website through WordPress or through a host like GoDaddy, and then content management system is WordPress or Weebly or Wix. My my gripes with Weebly and Wix is that I think it, it makes it too easy to make a bad looking site because there's not enough structure. So a lot of people make their site on Weebly and Wix and it looks really janky. Um, so if you're not a designer, it's I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know, I'm, I'm not crazy about the whole experience I've had with Weebly and Wix. Move me on to my favorite, which is Squarespace. So we're going to, that's, we're going to be strictly using Squarespace today. Um, if you're a WordPress, Weebly, Wix, you know, guru, and you only use these, then you might want to stop watching right now because I prefer Squarespace over all these. It's a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. So as you're editing, you can drag and drop like with WordPress, you have to edit on the back end and then press preview and then go check it out later on. There is there's a couple like ways around that, but Squarespace has the best one. You're gonna see what it looks like in a second. Um, they have amazing templates. The cons are that it can be pricey. It can be it's definitely a little bit more expensive, but I am a firm believer in you get what you pay for. And if you can afford, you know, between uh, ten to thirty dollars a month for your website and you want it to look professional and you want it to work really well and you want to love your life and not hate your life because you're using WordPress, I would recommend it. Plus, I'm gonna give you 20% off it today. Okay, cool. So Squarespace, let's check it out. Let's look at their pricing. I know everyone's wondering exactly how much it is. So this is Squarespace. Um, their, basic, their basic plans include a personal plan, and a business plan. Then you have your online stores. This is $12 a month for the personal plan that comes with unlimited pages, galleries, blogs, unlimited bandwidth. Squarespace hosts their website, squarespace.com, on their on the same servers that their clients use. So you know like they trust in their product because they're hosting their own stuff on their own website. It's completely optimized for mobile, so like making a mobile design, which you'll see how to do in a second is super easy and that's i mean over 60 percent of my visitors come from their mo from their mobile devices so if you don't have a good looking mobile site good luck your business site that that's that's the next step up so you have some like blocks that you're going to see that are really cool that you can use um in the business plan but not the personal plan so we'll talk about which one to choose and i actually have this link um that i'm going to send out to everybody about the plans and which one and like how to pick a plan. Cause that can be a little confusing. You, you're most of these, most of the people watching right now, you could probably start with a personal plan and be totally fine. Um, but I'm going to send this out in the video. You want to check it out on your own, but it goes through like the different, uh, features in each plan, so especially the, the main point I want to make is that if you're selling stuff on, Squarespace, you'll probably want to upgrade to a business plan or an online store plan uh, because when you, well, first of all, when you're when you're on the personal plan, uh, you can't really sell anything. You have to have at least the business plan. So when you have the the business plan, they take a three percent transaction fee per per purchase. So when someone buys something, Squarespace is taking a three percent cut because you're using their you know their software. However, they want to justify it. That's what happens. Uh, the way out of that is if you go to the next one up, which is the online store basic plan, which is 26 a month. I'm giving you 20% off, so do the math. Uh, that's how you get out of the transaction fee. 
So it depends on how much you project to sell per year. Like if you project to sell, if your sales are going to be over a thousand dollars a year, then it's definitely worth it to do the basic plan, uh, opposed to the business plan because they're taking a 3% cut. You know, it's, it's, it's important to do the math up front. You can always start with a business plan and then like upgrade to a basic plan. It's super easy. I'm going to show you how to do that. I haven't really seen a case that needs the advanced plan. This is for like a big, big e-commerce kind of stuff. Uh, because what it adds is um, abandoned cart recovery. So like if you're checking out from a website and you decide to bail, you can actually see that. You can see what's happening and where they're where they're bailing and uh, email them and say, what's going on? Uh, Real-time carrier shipping for your, you know, when your products are shipping. Automatic discounts if you want to make a discount for someone that they come from a certain website or during a certain time. You can also do gift cards. So during the you know, holiday season like we just had, you can offer gift cards, which is pretty cool. You also have customer accounts. That that's that's a new thing that Squarespace just came out with, which is really, really cool. When I say I'm a customer that keeps coming back to your website, I want to I don't want to have to like put in my same information every time. That's what this is for. Uh so we'll talk about that later. Let's get moving. Let's make a website. 